Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert an intro or an MKV, MKV file, such as this one, into an MP4, which you can then use into Sony Vegas. So, without further ado, roll the intro, which I've conveniently converted from MKV to MP4 and imported into Vegas, and uh, I'll show you how to do it. So, roll the intro. <laughs> All right, so before we go anywhere, we need to download a program called Avida Max. Basically, it's a demuxing software or muxing software, and it's used to split videos. My dad used to use it when he was working with MKVs. Um, so basically, just head over to Chrome or whatever it is, type in Avida Max. I mean, if you know how to install it, just skip this uh, main page, Avida Max main page. Go over to Downloads. The download clicks on the Source Forge Mirror. Depends which one. Make sure you download the correct version. I'm, I'm on Windows. Download the latest version, which is XC for Windows, and then in two seconds we should get the download. Now I use IDM with Chrome and just download to where it is, and uh, that's it. So I downloaded it. You will then go ahead and open it wherever you saved it. Open it up, and you will be greeted with this. Click next. Uh, select where you want to install. I'm just going to leave it in C. Next, uh, just leave that. We don't really need dev files. Uh, just leave that next. I accept the license next, let that install, and then it will go ahead and install. Click yes. Probably lost it there for a second. Just click yes on the uh, security prompt and click finish. Now you want to go ahead and open a VitaMax. VitaMax right there. I'm right, sorry I lost you there. I uh, actually forgot the settings. I, I, I actually had them written down and I somehow lost them. So yeah, great for me. Anyway, I figured them out. Uh, basically, when you open a VitaMax, it will just be a black screen. You go ahead and click the little video thingy there, you go ahead and select your MKV, which will be the intro, your video, whatever, double click it or open it, as you can see it do that, you're able to play it through, you're actually able to play it as well, so you're able to play and whatnot, and you can skip, you know, alright, all cool, all cool features of Avinamax. The important thing you want to do now is you want to go under to video output, and change to MPEG4 AVC X264, basically it's uh, MP4's codec essentially, it's the most universally used one. Under audio output, this is key. For the love of God, do not select MP4 3 because that will just screw your entire video up in the Vegas. Uh, select AAC Lav. You can try out other other ACCs. I just found that this one probably gives the best audio quality, I guess, around about. So I just use AAC Lav. And of course, output format, make sure you select MP4 Maxa. Now, with the audio output, you may sacrifice just a bit of audio quality. I've noticed a couple clips they do tend to lose. Um, you, your uh, results may vary for you, um, but this is just the one that I always use. I mean, for the intro at the end of the day, for the 10 seconds, no one's going to die if the audio is a bit bad. But for videos where it was recording MKV and they're talking um, and they want the audio quality to be good, I would recommend you experiment with uh, different AACs or uh, even MP2. Uh, MP3 just. MP3 lane just does not work in um, in Vegas. Uh, I can even show you what happens with it. It's, it's not it's not a pleasing experience. Trust me. And you will see that it does not work. <laughs> Fuck. So once we've gone ahead and selected all those settings, we go up here to uh, the. The save icon, save video, save whatever you want. So I'm going to name it intro.mp4. And even just leave intro is fine, it automatically saves as mp4. Click save, and then it will start encoding it for you. Now, this will take, depends how long the video is and how powerful your CPU is, it can take a minute to an hour. So mine just takes a couple seconds, even though I'm recording. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry that my video rec that the recording settings are pretty shit right now. Um, OBS was just playing up with the AMD, so I can't raise the bitrate any further without hammering my CPU. Right now I'm on 80%. Uh, so yeah, once it's done, you click OK. Your video will be rendered wherever you saved it. You can then run it. <laughs> Works fine. And then we can go over to Vegas. We'll do that. We got it in because I didn't, didn't know the thing. Intro the MP4. Drag it in. As you can see, you can play through it. And you drag it in whatever the settings are and let me just drag it full screen for use and as you can see it plays well so <laughs> now video quality wise I haven't noticed a, a difference uh, between them I'm not exactly skeptical on audio on video quality but I really haven't I, I, I honestly can't notice the difference between an mp4 and the NKV using this method audio wise like I already said you can kind of see which one was converted or not um, 
but I mean for intros especially Panzoid I mean in the settings I gave you should be absolutely fine like I said go ahead and experiment keep saving them change the audio output try and keep getting whatever audio you want like I said AC lav is probably the best option that I've used I've, I've gone through all of them trust me um, so yeah that's it that's really it. That's the tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And uh, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And I'll catch you uh, next week, I guess, with the February's PC. So until then, I'll see you later. I'm Mike Stack, and I'll see you later.